Scorpios, hello. It is your girl here, Miss Hawaii, your scorpion queen. I broke a nail. <laughs> but happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Welcome to your general love reading for February 14th of 2022. If you don't have a Valentine, I'm your Valentine. Don't you worry. You hear what I'm saying? Don't you worry. Let's see what's going on with you, Scorp, Scorps. How are y'all feeling in love? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out the description box below. Shout out to all my Scorpion members. You got a new read coming tonight. And uh, yeah, let's see what's going on with my Scorpios in love here, Scorpio. How are you feeling right now, Scorpio? How are you feeling in love? The seven of coins, investments, being patient, mm -hmm. knowing what you bring to the table, ace of coins in reverse. A lot of people that are not worth investing in. <laughs> oh, one thing Scorpio hates is wasting time. The wheel of fortune, my favorite card in the deck which represents destiny, luck, trust in the universe to, you know, run his divine time and do his thing. Two of wands in reverse. Right now, your energy really feels like you are chilling right now. Um, you would love to invest in somebody. Your energy is very much so like, you know, the, the Wheel of Fortune is a card about just letting the universe, letting the wheel turn, seeing, you know, you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm just trusting the universe. I'm not forcing anything. You know, the Wheel of Fortune represents good luck, though. I feel like things are turning in your favor, whether you know it or not. I feel like things are turning in your favor. I feel like something is sprouting for you. See, the Ace of Cups is in reverse. A lot of you practicing self-love right now. Nobody really has your heart right now. I'm be honest with you. Nobody really has your heart right now. There's nobody you really feel like is worth investing in with the Ace of Coins in reverse. I feel like if there are people around you, you don't see the potential. So you're waiting. You have a very patient energy. Let's see. The person you're thinking about or you're dealing with, how do they feel about you? The person you're thinking about or you're dealing with, how do they feel about you? Oh, we got two cards here. The six of wands in reverse and the chariot in reverse. Could be a cancer that's coming through here. Okay, this is somebody that feels like either they're not winning, things are not moving between you and them. Four of coins in reverse. This could be somebody that feels like you let them go, you release them. One more card, please, for how this person feels about Scorpio, the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So some of you it could be a Virgo here you're dealing with or a Virgo around you here or a Cancer. Um, the bottom of the deck is the Judgment in reverse. That's Scorpio energy right there. I feel like we're going to clarify, but sometimes the hermit can mean one of two things. It could mean somebody that's been in hermit mode away from you for a while that wants to come out of hermit mode, or they can feel like you're kind of being distant with them. It could mean you're being, you're isolating yourself from somebody because whoever this person is, they feel like things aren't really moving between you and them. Nothing's happening with the chariot in reverse. There could have been a lot of obstacles here between you and this person. Six of wands in reverse. This person feels like they failed in this connection or they feel like possibly overlooked. Sometimes the six of wands in reverse can be that way. It could be like somebody feeling like they're not really getting attention. Okay, four of coins in reverse with the hermit in reverse. Let's clarify. Whoa, these cards just flew out when I... 
went to the deck two of cups in reverse strength card eight of wands and we got the page of swords so somebody's definitely keeping tabs on you spying on you etc things like that i see communication eight of wands strength card <sighs> but two of cups in reverse this is either somebody you broke up with or this is somebody that likes you way more than you like them way more and those cards just fucking split it out something told me to use this deck i haven't used this deck in a while and it was just calling me from across the room like pss, pss, pss. miss hawaii yo use me yo <laughs> don't forget personal readings email miss hawaii readings at gmail.com and scorpios i'm doing a live tomorrow where i will be answering questions for you for a cash app or paypal you can go ahead and submit your questions I posted it on the page so you can check that out or check out my Instagram. But if you're interested in asking me a question live, you can go ahead and make your payment. So check that out. Let's see the seven of coins here. Patience. The seven of swords in reverse. Hmm. Two sevens. Ha. Huh. The death card is in reverse here. Scorpio energy. Show me the ace of coins in reverse. The four of wands in reverse. Yeah, there's a lot of people out here. First of all, you're waiting because you don't trust people. A lot of people are not worth shit. Or a lot of people want to get you involved and caught up in love triangles. Caught up in drama. Caught up in they shit. Situationships. Scorpio is like, no, I'm going to have patience. Ace of coins in reverse with the four of wands in reverse. A lot of offers, but there, there's no stability with those offers. You got the lovers here. I feel like a lot of people are attracted to you. A lot of people want you, but it's not. There's issues with stability. You want more than just a physical attraction, Scorpio. Show me the wheel of fortune here. The high priestess using your intuition as guidance you're very intuitive going from within trusting that the universe that everything is going to turn out in your favor show me the two of wands in reverse the two of cups hold on now hold on now two of wands in reverse with the two of cups there's somebody here you're attracted to five of pentacles here distance there's somebody here you're attracted to but you're waiting it out with the two of wands in reverse two of wands in reverse is like hesitancy not wanting to take a risk trying to use your intuition to fill this person out questions about stability will this person be worth it can i trust them let's see your person show me the chariot in reverse the empress whoa well somebody here is super attracted to you hello somebody here thinks you the shiznick there it is again the lovers gemini energy bam some of y'all dealing with a gemini somebody here is enamored by you they love everything about you scorpio you stand out amongst everybody everybody nobody compares to you not just physically who you are internally how you carry yourself but with the chariot in reverse your person don't feel like things are moving show me the six of wands in reverse this person feels like you were made for them the three of wands waiting it out so you got a waiting energy they got a waiting energy with the hierophant here this person feels like they can see themselves marrying you scorpio could be a Taurus. They're trying to wait it out because they're like, yo, where, where is shit going right now? Show me the four of coins in reverse. The six of cups. They trying not to be all up on you. Like this is somebody, wheel of fortune in reverse. Even though they feel like shit ain't really going their way right now. Like they're like, yo. I'm trying to let Scorpio breathe, but I don't want to let them breathe too much to the point that they go off with somebody else. They definitely, Six of Cups is like a soul bond here. 
soul bond memories this could be somebody you've dealt with before they don't want to like be on you and hold on that like cling on to you because they feel like that'll make you run and it will you know us scorpios we don't like that shit show me the hermit in reverse four cups in reverse so this is you being distant they feel like you're being distant whoever this is the knight of cups hey hey but they're gonna be making you an offer soon could be another water sign for some of you or another scorpio cancer pisces they feel like you've been like you're very withdrawn your energy is like chilling you're distant you like being to yourself a lot of majors we got one two three four two majors here for your person five six judgment in reverse huh what's under this the nine of coins yeah a lot of y'all single oh i'm sorry the queen of cups is there oh scorpio so much love and affection so much love you have to give you have it this abundance of love but it's like damn somebody here is into you big time and they feel like you're distant. And I feel like you feel a connection or you feel a bond with this person. You're trying to use your intuition, but there's questions about can this be long term? Your energy is being patient, just not rushing. I mean, face it, everybody you have a connection with doesn't mean you're supposed to actually be with them. Okay? You can have a connection with a guinea pig. You know, that doesn't mean you go ahead and jump the the wagon and marry the guinea pig right connections are great we've had tons of them but that doesn't mean like them connections be having people stuck man but i got a connection and it's like okay that's great but what else sis <laughs> you know what i mean like it takes more than a connection to keep you know a relationship going or you know to keep something going like let's see how does scorpio feel about this person The magician in reverse. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Six of pentacles. Okay. Equal give and take balance. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Four swords. More, more waiting energy here. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Ah, three of pentacles in reverse. Can I actually see myself with this person? I don't know. I have to wait. Can we be together? Magician in reverse. I'm not forcing it. I'm not forcing it. Scorpio's like, I I'm not going to force it. How's this person feel about Scorpio? That devil card tried to come out. Somebody might be a little obsessive with you. The tower in reverse. Please don't take Scorpio away from me. How's this person feel about Scorpio? The seven of cups. Ooh, they got options, huh? And some of y'all could feel that. Some of y'all know they talking to other people or they may have other people under their, up their sleeve. How does this person feel about Scorpio? 10 of wands. One last card, please. How does this person feel about Scorpio? The chariot again in reverse. The nine of pentacles overall energy. So you and this person are both single. You and this person are both single. Your mutual energy here is the nine of pentacles. There's that judgment card again in reverse. And the lovers, Gemini energy. Mm, there we go again wow 
So, yeah. Your person, why are they stressed here with the Ten of Wands? They feel like they're carrying most of the weight here and the connection or they're doing most of the work. Good, Scorpio. Make their ass work. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the tower here in reverse, this is your energy. It's in reverse, though. Resistance to change. This is somebody that doesn't want things to end between you and them. They don't want this tower to come down between you and them. But some of you are kind of, I feel like some of you are kind of pushing this person to see what else is out there to one, you know what I mean? Because the seven of cups is about choices, it's about options. It's about wanting to see what's in them cups. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person is still, because this, this is hard for them. Whoever this is, this is hard, Scorpio. It's hard. Being with a Scorpio is hard. We're difficult. I know that. I can say that because I'm a Scorpio. Anybody else say that? I'm going to fuck them up. You know what I'm saying? But... I can say that because I'm a Scorpio. It's hard. Sometimes, you know, we moody. We don't know if we're going to answer your call. We want to talk to you today. You know what I'm saying? But it, that's until it's locked in. Once it's locked in, we're good. You know what I mean? But it's like, even though when it's locked in, sometimes we could be a little difficult too. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. This is hard for this person. But they're not, they're not cowering out. I don't see them backing out like, oh, I'm done. I'm done. I don't think I could do this. You know what I'm saying? I want to see something. I want to see something real quick. Show me the magician in reverse. Y'all know I love to clarify because I like to get all up in y'all business. Four of Pentacles. Scorpio, you got... <laughs> Scorpio, four of pentacles, magician in reverse. Uh, I'm not doing shit. <laughs> That's Scorpio. I'm not doing shit. If this is my person, they're going to have to kiss my big toe. That's it. I'm not opening up to nobody, nobody right now till I know they my person. Okay. Show me the six of pentacles. Temperance, patience. There you go. Sagittarian energy right there. Queen of Pentacles. I still got my money. Okay. You focus on the bag. I hear you and it is what it is. I'm focusing on my money and take my time. And when it happens, it will. Show me the four of swords. Ace of wands in reverse. Damn. You chilling right now. Some of y'all ain't even getting no ass. You ain't got no ass in a minute. Show me the three of pentacles in reverse. Chilling right now. Seven of pentacles. There it is again. Trying to, to see like you, you, you temperance, seven of pentacles. You're in a waiting energy, Scorpio. You're waiting. You're taking your time. You're not in a rush. What's the rush? I want to see what you're about. Why is this person pulling the tower in reverse? <laughs> Do you know what this card is? It's the Ace of Cups. That's why this person doesn't want the tower to come down between you and them. The King of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is determined they're going to get you. Okay. This person got some, mm, they like, no, uh -uh, I'm not, no, 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 no. I don't care how hard this shit is. I'm going to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Because I have, you know, Ace of Cups. They got love for you. This person got feelings for you. And they're very attracted to you. Let's see the Seven of Cups here. There's options. Show me the Seven of Cups, please. Can we clarify the Seven of Cups for this person? The Magician. Oh, dude, are they? Oh, okay. With the Nine of Swords here. Woo! You're stressing this person is out. You hear what I'm saying? The magician on top of the seven of cups. Oh, this person fancy, huh? Mm-hmm. I feel like <laughs> uh, this person trying to make you see what they want you to see. I feel like even if this person got options, they're too focused on you to even care about these options. I mean, they got options, but why they seven, why they nine of swords? Either they not filling these options at all. 
this person got a lot of stress. But they stress about you. So if you got options, Mr. Magician or Miss Magician, why are you focused on me so much? I'm getting to you though. Two of Swords in reverse popped out, Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Giving up is not an option for this person. Page of Pentacles, you see? Because they're fucking focused on your ass. Show me this Ten of Wands. Two of Wands. They're willing to put in the work because you're worth it. Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> you stressful, Scorpio. You be stressing them out. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes when you get in your little, what you want? But they don't care. They're not going nowhere. Show me the chariot in reverse. Two of cups in reverse. <laughs> with the nine of pentacles in reverse. This person does not want to be single. They want to be with you. Two of Cups in reverse on top of the Chariot in reverse. How can I get Scorpio to see that there's a connection here? You know there's a connection. I saw it in your, in your cards, the first spread. But you need more than that. But to them, it's like shit is not moving because, I mean, do you even like me? Do you want me? I know I got feelings for you. You and this person will be good together, Scorpio. You're both very self-sufficient. But you do your thing. You wait it out. Shit, you ain't no rush. Let's go into the extended now. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Let's see how this person feels and what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. That's what I want to see. We'll also pull you some Oracle Advice cards, Scorpio. So that's exciting. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, check out the description box. All my social media information is there. You'll find information as far as how to book a personal reading with me, how to become a member of this channel, and also um, the extended reading link. So check out the description box. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget, I'm doing a live tomorrow at 8 p.m. So you definitely wanna make sure you're there for that. And um, I will uh, be answering your questions live. So if you're interested, I will see you tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the extended. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you and um, see you soon. Bye.